Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. I want to talk about real quick about an L340 baler. Um, if you're getting a certain code uh, talking about your uh, feeder fork system and not filling the baler. Um, if you're getting this code, I'll show you real quick. I've had this several times in the past. Now this is only on an L340. Um, there is also some codes to do with the feeder fork filling uh, on an L341, okay? But we're talking about an L340 today. And if you're getting an LSB 516 868.05 code during bailing saying that the feeder fork is not filling, okay? Feeder fork not filling. I'm gonna show you a quick way to check that to make sure uh, to determine whether or not it is the sensor not seeing the feeder fork or if the feeder fork itself is not tripping uh, for in, when it's in auto. Uh, we're gonna put it in one-to-one -one and show you real quick how that works. Uh, there's a couple things that can cause that. So one of the things that can cause that is a cable issue and a latch issue. Okay, and I've had that before too. So I'm gonna show you real quick, a quick way to diagnose that and check that. So we've got the tractor running because we're gonna engage the PTO in a moment and show you what it looks like when it's in auto and then when it's in one-to-one. -one. Now we'll switch it to one-to-one -to, -one to actually check and make sure that the that the feeder fork is unlatching to send a flake of hay into the baler. But I'm gonna show you real quick where the sensor's at, okay? And so the sensor is right here, okay? That is the sensor as this arm passes across that sensor, okay? that tells the display that the feeder fork is moving, okay? And uh, so you have to see that. If you don't see that, then you're definitely gonna get the code telling you that the, the feeder fork is not filling, okay? And what they mean by not filling is that it's not picking up hay and filling this pre-chamber, okay? Now, when you're running this baler in auto, and I'll show you here underneath, so you've got a lever here underneath your left side, twine box okay and this lever can be pushed inward or pulled rearward okay to put the baler in one-to-one -one and or in auto so as you can see right now the lever is pointing forward which would be inward out here on the outside of the baler and that puts the feeding system in auto okay now while the feeding system is in auto it will basically fill this pre-chamber with hay, okay? And then when it reaches this point right in here, there is a paddle inside the pre-chamber that will trip this arm, it will pull this cable, okay? And this cable is going all the way up to our hook or our catch, they actually call it a catch, and it will, it will release that catch, okay? So that the feeding fork can unlatch and send a complete flake of hay into the bell chamber, okay? Okay, so we're gonna take a look at that. If the cable is not working, then the system will never unlatch, okay, when it is in auto. And then also, if the cable has a problem, uh, it will not latch and unlatch in auto. I'm gonna turn the PTO on and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so you see the feeder fork is in auto, okay? And as it's in auto, it's not gonna unlatch the feeding fork until it fills, completely fills the pre-chamber, okay? But a quick way to check that, to see if it's actually working like it's supposed to, is we'll go underneath here on the left-hand twine box, okay? And we'll switch this lever to one-to-one. -to -one. If you look up in here, you'll see what I'm doing here, okay? So we're gonna pull the lever back. Now we've got it switched one to one here. Okay. So now it's gonna fill the chamber and then unlock. Okay. That's gonna be one to one. Back to auto. We're not going to 
so that is just a quick way to check your trip mechanism on your feeding system to see if it is actually feeding okay and in this case when we switched it to one to one it was actually feeding okay so now we have to decide whether we have a sensor problem or not okay so if it if we changed it to one to one and seen that the system was feeding then we could potentially have a sensor problem okay and if you can see on this sensor it has a light in front of the sensor okay and I'll show you a quick way to sort of check that. So every time the sensor sees ferrous metal past the face of that, of that sensor, you can see the light. See the yellow light? Okay, so every time the arm passes the sensor, the light will trip on and or off okay if you can see that okay so that would be a quick way to check your sensor okay now remember you could have an intermittent problem with the sensor too also so i have had that a few times and have to go ahead and replace that sensor okay so if you check your feeding system in one to one and is not unlatching okay that would be the scenario here if the sensor was good and if the if the one-to-one -one, you switch it to one-to-one -one and you did not see it unlatch it basically stayed closed did not send hay into to the bell chamber okay then you need to take a look at this cable make sure that your cable adjustment is correct and that your cable is not stretched okay and the way you would do that is go ahead and put your put your uh lever back into one-to-one -one. and I'm gonna put my camera here so you can see what happens here on the latch when we switch that to one-to-one -to -one. okay when I switch that to one-to-one -to -one, you will see you will see this lock move outward okay because we're essentially gonna move this arm and pull the lock out which is gonna release the latch okay so take a look at that Okay, I'm gonna go to one to one. Okay. If you see that pulled the the lock rod out away from the latch, okay, that would unlatch it. Okay, so if you don't see this action and see this unlatch, you could potentially have a problem with the cable. Okay. And if you do, this cable is adjustable, as you can see here. And all we want to do is adjust that to where it's out close to the edge of this bearing here to pull that lock lever outward, okay? Uh, you can just adjust that. I've done this in the field before. Just adjust that just a little bit. Uh, take it to one-to-one -to -one and make sure that your feeding fork is unlatching, okay? Um, you could have a failed cable, okay? I've um, also seen the return spring broke before and not letting this return back and latch, okay? And so then when you have that issue, you're basically in one-to-one -one all the time and it will not run in auto, okay? So just keep that in mind if you're in the field and you're getting that code talking about the feeding fork not filling that you could potentially have a cable problem. Quick way to check that is switch it to one from auto to one-to-one -to -one and see if the feeding fork is unlatching, okay? Just a quick uh, tech tip of the day, Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work, I think. We're gonna have to make it work. We'll make it work, come on, let's go. <laughs> we need to make you need some bloopers. You already, already, already burned me out. Yeah. We're sitting in the sun over here, man.